Hey everybody, it is Friday. Um, sadly, yesterday my family had to leave yesterday morning to drive back to Nashville and then they caught a flight uh, back to Dallas-Fort Worth where they live and I think they were able to get home in time for some New Year's Eve celebrations of their own. So I'm, I'm glad they made it back in time and made it back safely. Um, today Abby had to work so I have just mostly been chilling at home, uh, watching TV, doing my own thing, watching uh, Tennessee Volunteers had a huge victory and Florida Gators lost so I think Tennessee should be ranked number one in the SEC East going into next season. Uh, Tennessee really finished on an upswing uh, at the end of the season. I know they did play kind of their easier half of the schedule second, but I'm, I'm really optimistic that they, uh, this will kind of, hopefully the, the, the morale and the momentum can carry into the next season and this next recruiting class for them and they will come out really strong and hopefully maybe finish nine and three or 10 and two next season. Uh, but I'm, I'm optimistic. Uh, it was sad that OU lost yesterday to Clemson, but uh, the way Clemson came out and played, they deserve it, and I will definitely be pulling for Clemson against Alabama um, next uh, next week, I guess, when they play in the championship. Um, it's getting closer to school starting back. Still got about, tw I think, 12 days left, or 11 and a half since today is almost over. But... Um, kind of bittersweet I'm I'll be excited to see friends and get back uh, for sure but I've I've tried to be pretty productive on break uh, so ha I'm excited about that uh, Abby and I yesterday we did we do have a few New Year's uh, resolutions I always try and do a few and I've, I've actually been pretty successful with mine in the past few years though I try and do them um, kind of like vague things like I'm not I'm gonna exercise five times a day but like I'm, I mean I'm gonna try and make more friends like I'm gonna try and uh, be be more outgoing talk to people more uh, have more fun stuff like that uh, we actually this year did and in the past few years have come up with a few specific goals and I think what we're gonna do is we if we stick to them actually whether we stick to them or not we will tell you them I think February 1st but we are not going to tell them until February 1st just because uh, we don't I've actually heard and I don't know if this is true or not but that uh, it, the more you can keep things like New Year's resolutions and things like that to yourself until you get them going the more likely you're actually going to be to stick with them uh, because I'm not exactly sure how the science behind it, but when we post on Facebook or when we tell people this is my New Year's resolution, our body almost gets the sense of already having done it when in fact we haven't accomplished anything. And uh, so it it's more of a, and like I said, I, I have no clue if that's science ba based or true at all. Um, so don't take my word for it. But so what we're gonna do, but we're gonna go with it because uh, it, it at least does make a little sense. And so we're going to try and stay on our, uh, our New Year's resolutions, and if we can keep up with them, um, we will be happy to tell you about them. I guess we're going to tell you about them either way, but it'll be that much more exciting if we've stuck with them for a month when we're telling it to you. So that, uh, that's what we have upcoming. Chance, as always, is getting, getting a good rest in. Um, but that's it. Uh, we're super excited and happy for the new year. 2015 was awesome. We, uh, we moved to a new city, moved to Knoxville, uh, made a lot of new friends and are having fun here. We've gotten to uh, see Abby's parents, my, my in-laws, um, gotten to see them a lot more. Um, being here so that's been fun and gotten to see my parents a few times and I, I try and Skype and keep up with them so uh, kind of a trade-off because when we were at ACU we got to see my parents a lot and so now we're kind of doing the reverse of that but uh, we we're loving life um, we're we're just trying to be more optimistic and uh, kind of give everything we can every day and not just not just get by uh, with life and get by day to day, but really go in each day and have a plan. Um, while Abby, Abby really likes having a schedule and having a routine, but I, I'm honestly very about not, at least not getting into a rut and getting into like the same old thing every day. Like I'm all about new things to eat, trying new things to eat, trying new places to eat. Um, and I mean, just always trying, trying new things is what I like to do and not, well, this is what I do on Mondays. This is what I do on Wednesdays. 
um, always trying things new and mixing it up. Uh, that, I think for me, that's what keeps life exciting. Uh, variety is the spice of life, as, as they say. Uh, and so that, that's what I enjoy. Um, let us know in the comments whether you think you might be more oriented like Abby, maybe a more logical orientation where you're very structured and scheduled and planned out, or you're more like me where, I mean, some, some planning and structure is all right, but you'd rather do new, more fun, exciting things. And I, I don't mean to make Abby sound not exciting or me to sound completely unplanned. There are pros and cons for both, both of our systems for sure. That's just... Um, I just mean to point out that we, we are in fact different in that way and I think that difference is great and it, it, whatever you are, um, it, yeah, I mean that's who you are and that's unique about you. Um, I, I went to uh, McKay's, uh, the used, it's a used books and movie store in Knoxville and I got, they have like all the seasons of Seinfeld and the first three seasons I got for like 10 bucks uh, total. And so I'm, I'm going to watch some of that. Um, that that's pretty much what all I'm up to, watching some, uh, watching some of the meaningful bowl games. So like the OU and Alabama game yesterday, or OU Clemson, Alabama, Michigan State, because they're playoff games. I have a spiel on uh, them needing to have less bowl games, but that's a long talk for another time. I won't bore you with that. Tomorrow, uh, if you live near an REI, which, I mean, they're kind of in in most big and medium-sized cities around the country. Um, tomorrow, for most of them, tomorrow, January, Saturday, January 2nd, is the annual garage sale where they have crazy sales, like the, be the best sales that they have all, um, all year. And for REI, which I, while I love REI, I typically think, find it pretty overpriced for, for my income. Um, but they actually have pretty good deals at this garage sale. And it's also, uh, it's also kind of the scratch and dent sales that Abby calls it. And I, th I think REI has called it that in the past, where like all the things that people have returned are for sale here, but they're, way, they're like 70% discounted and marked down because they, the strap is broken or something on a backpack, but you can buy a, a new strap for like five bucks. And so it's like crazy deals just for like something small and minute being wrong with it. So I, if you're into outdoorsy stuff at all, uh, like Abby and I are and like my family is, please uh, check it out because it, it's some great deals. You can get some great gear or clothing for whatever, uh, whatever sports or whatever things you're into doing outside or wherever. Uh, so that, that's my plug. Uh, love REI. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Um, last time was in June. They only do this two times a year because it's a big thing. Uh, and you have to, it starts at eight, I guess, at least at the Knoxville one. I think most of them open probably seven, eight or nine, but you have to get there. I mean, if you want a good spot at like six or 6.30 AM and in the summer, both Abby and I were super excited, but I, we both woke up sick and I still made myself, uh, still made myself go, but I felt awful. Um, I felt so bad last time, and so we're hopefully hoping we can get to bed early tonight, wake up at like 5 or 5.30, uh, definitely bundle up because it's going to be cold. Hopefully that will, um, that will keep some, some other people from going, keep some of the competition out um, from being there, and we will be able to get a better spot in line. And I'm, I'm looking for either like a good hiking backpack, um, maybe a deal on a hammock, a tent. I'm really wanting to get out and go backpacking soon. Um, since living so close to the to the Appalachian Trail and the Smokies in Knoxville, that's just what, what I would love to get out doing and do. Christmas break has really made me realize I hate the indoors and just want to be outside and do, have adventures, uh, and just do awesome, have adventures, get outside and do awesome things. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, keep it crabby as you, uh, you walk into the new year this weekend. Uh, do something exciting. Go outside. Go exploring. Go hiking. Travel. Do something you love doing. Do something awesome. And uh, keep it crabby. And we will see you all on Monday. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye.